So let's say we lose all our gold and get a rare relic. I'm a fan. And maybe this rare relic could carry this elite fight, in which case I can go bam, 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 bam. Three leads. Eh, a little crazy though. The alternative is to do this. Let's risk it for the biscuit. Ooh, that is that is a that is a relic that can uh, do an early elite, I would say. See any updates? Yeah, we were up there making some bad decisions. You caught us. Even so much so that I was like, oh man, I kind of want to make a room, a private room, so that no one sees us in this, you know, this lobby at this time. I was, I was, I was ashamed. That's good for dam, like good for block, especially with the threaded needle. But then we have drop kick, which can help me get a little bit more damage. Go the offensive route against this elite. And also the damage is going to be good against, okay, we can do this. Transform is... Oh, Jesus. Upgrade. Okay. Dropkick's weird because it's only really useful when you have... When you have... Uh, vulnerable. But I'd rather upgrade that than a strike. Would I, though? Hmm. Now I'm not sure. Rush is a dangerous game? Yes. It's dangerous only second to League of Legends. Okay, but when you have one drop kick, let's say you take two drop kick, and when you have two drop kick, you take three. This would be the weirdest, weirdest deck. Let's make it happen. Or not, whatever. Yeah, we we lost every single game because I haven't played in so long, so it's only expected that I'm going to lose every game. It's only expected. Hemokinesis for like some... <laughs> what? <laughs> hmm. It's actually perfect, right? Check it out. Alright. First one. Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna cycle back into it again. You ready for this? Check this out. We're gonna get dropped again and we're gonna do wield it. I lied. I wasn't trying to lie, but I lied. There it is. There it is. That's the stuff. That's the stuff, baby. No, what the next best thing is to do Havoc. Now, if we have it, we can actively thin out the deck, just sort of, and maybe make the drop pick infinite come, become a reality. But... Havoc is a little unreliable in that sense. This is why we're going to do it. Alright, buddy. Imagine not doing bash first. Hmm. Hey. Don't hate the player. Hit the game. It's not my fault I'm doing this much damage. Whirlwind for AoE, sure. Okay, but again, we can we can we can hard commit. We can hard commit, and we can take Burning Pact, start thinning out the deck, drawing more cards, help find us to do a build drop kick, hard commit to this infinite. Of course, we can dial it back a bit. Okay, we're already going halfway meme. Don't go full meme. Take the whirlwind, have some AoE. Of course, we're not gonna do that. That's e it's even it's ridiculous that you would even ask that. You know what? Let's say I bottle the bash so we have the vulnerable right away. Alright. Then drop kick is always a thing. Or we can bottle the drop kick if we get bag of marbles down the line, hopefully. Common relic is pretty reasonable to expect that. Or we bottle the drop kick and then we hope that we get dual wield in our opening hand with bag of prep or other things. I think bash is probably the safest one. Sometimes in life. You get offered a, a choice. And it's whether or not you're going to go full meme.
I'll tell you what, this, um, this, what's it called? Third needle has been amazing for all these elites. Yo, my vision is getting bad. Is that an RM or? Ah, per me. Thank you for the Twitch Prime, man. Welcome back. Two months. Thank you. Graves, no, he wasn't ADC. He wasn't ADC. Graves, Graves went, um... He went... Mid lane. Hmm. What's your what's Resident Sleeper? What's up? What, what do I gotta do? What's causing us to go to bed right now? Iron Wave is interesting for block, and I can do will that, but maybe just do do will again. Oh, uh, that was not my intention. Oh, oopsies. This is going to die very fast. Nice. Wow, this is actually... This is actually a thing. This is actually a thing right now. Whoa, okay, okay, okay. It's interesting because what's up, Teddy Macha? How you doing, man? Okay, Dark Embrace. Dark Embrace is like. Do you really want to kick forever? Forever? <laughs> okay, the Dark Embrace could really ensure the infinite was corruption out, right? Now, Reaper obviously is. We already have to do a wheel for the Reaper, and then we have Demon Form. For, honestly, let's go full. Pull out on this. Snicker was weird because it gives us more card draw, but it could even accelerate the infinite. Well, actually, it can make the infinite. So here's the weird thing that could happen when you're doing the drop pick stuff. You can get like a, a three cost randomly, and then it just stops you in your tracks. Or you can jump start it and have zero costs and gain a lot of energy. And it gives you seven card draw, which I, and it helps me ensure. So what this deck wants to do is, but if I draw in seven cards a turn, I'm trying to ensure that I hit dual wield and drop kick, right? And then 
then eventually corruption just go infinite. But it can also break the combo, right? So it's like the wounds make the awkward draws. Yeah, I can get rid of them pretty easily. The wounds, but I don't really need the fourth energy. Whereas this can give me. I don't really need the fourth energy. But I can manage the wounds relatively fine. <coughs> well, the thing about Stackwise is I could also accelerate it, right? So I can make the, the drop kick zero cost, and then it can make do a wield hit a zero cost drop kick or what what have you. And then corruption makes everything free anyways, so snuck away. Wah, wah, this Maison du Tal, du Tal, Minusua looks parfait, parfait, parfait for like situa situation, I say situation like say Spanish. Thought I had this to auto, but guess not. Hey, no worries, hey, thank you for the tier one, Dalothian, appreciate you, buddy. Now, I think the, um, I think the Snuggawai, mm, I guess, I think it's, what, like what I'm trying to say is the seven card draw is really nice for your options, but also corruption kind of mitigates any problems. And I dare say, with corruption in the mix, the infinite should happen pretty easily. So here's the thing about market pain is that it was a card cut, by the way. Um, um, how do we say? Is it bon, bien? There's bon, bonsoir, bonsoir, ça va. We could, so here's what we could do. We could take things like weaken or ghostly armor just so we have something and not just full going meme. Or do we just go full meme? So here's I can't I can't reasonably attack things like this without having some kind of recourse in terms of block. And Ghost Lammers like, seems it's okay just because, worst case scenario, exhaust itself. Back on the infinite French performing. If you, if you talk to me like, um, damn it. Talk to me like, what, like three years ago? My French was a lot better. Easy. Searing blow. So Thunderclap. Thunderclap is also interesting because it's yet another vulnerable which helps me against multi targets, right? No 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 because no, I, I would have to be studying. I'm not studying at the moment. When I was studying, yeah, the French was I would have loved to indulge, but unfortunately, I'm not studying. Unnecessarily, unnecessarily, like it didn't have to be that like that. Okay. 
So your family is kind of interesting. Because it just... Okay, I gotta make a concession now. It's like, do I want blocks like that? Or do I want to just go full infinite? Always. c c c, -c combo Flame barrier in French. Again, my French is not there. Nope, no, no. Absolutely awful. I could try. I could try Spanish. Uh, Barrier de fuego. Got him. He thinks I really need relics, right? Oh well, that wasn't. Well, she we're one gold off this. That's the second corruption. That's not useful. Double tap is actually quite useful. Trip is also a zero cost applicator of vulnerable. Let's say we have one by at all times. I, I, I think it's just getting kind of convoluted. The membership card is kind of a fail. Calipers would have been interesting. So let's say I have calipers and then. Hmm. Transform two cards or get strength opening hand. Strength opening hand, transform two cards. Jax. Transform two cards is interesting because I have molten egg, so I can take like an upgraded strike and maybe make it better. Is the AC turn off? Go get it. Go get the. Go, go get the Taco Bell. <coughs> go get the Taco Bell then. Go get Taco Bell? We're talking to Salem. We'll see. Why is nobody getting Discord notifications? What's going on with that? So maybe Metallicize is interesting because Metallicize gives me the ability to... Uh, let me see what's going on. Is Muxi bot dead? Muxi bot dead? Guys, I just got word from L. That the AC is temporarily not working at the moment. I am. Hey, buddy. Oh, thank you, Residence uh, Steve Ball. Thank you for two months, man. Tier two sub five months. What am I saying? Two tier sub five. Th thank you very, very, very much. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get that. I just wanna test this. Okay. Yeah, I like Michelle says too, especially in a deck that you know is doing what he's doing right now. Which about is offline? Hmm. We'll take care of that. Let's take care of that bad boy. Why are you offline? We might have to switch. We might have to switch services here. Oh, we'll figure it out. Anyways, what are we doing here? Damn, this guy's hurting me. Jesus Christ! The wounds are gonna be a problem.
I can't take damage because I, I don't want the wounds to hurt me. I don't want the wounds to hurt me. I think I might have just gotten rid of... We can hold the wounds in our hands. It's not the end of the world. Also, this is a way you can win with one relic only. If you ever having trouble with the one relic ch challenge, classic tiny one is tiny. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, we can do uh, we can do shocker. Shocker is just a useful thing to have, right? It's a compelling game. Okay, I know it's not compelling. All right, I got it. I got it. It's the first game of the day. You know, what? I was gonna go do smoke bomb, but I figured you know it's just kind of taking up space. And yes, it is. Dude, I can do one... Just to show you, I can do the, uh, the one relic challenge. With Tiny House only. Ah! Not like this. I said they were just had to do it. <laughs> cool. That's it. Now infinite should be on its way. Although we're getting wounds. Yeah, the wounds are going to be problematic, huh? Huh. We need to do a little size. You could do that, right? Look at all these wounds. Oh, this guy needs to die, actually. Wait a second. Hmm. I don't... I need... I need this to go... Hmm. Hmm, god damn. No, I just wasted my dual wield. Oh, I think I just lost because I wasted dual wield. Fuck. Maybe we can just win off the sheer amount of just... Just, okay, no, we actually, I think we might lose. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, th 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 maybe this saves us, maybe this saves us. Not word. Me and the bone. Easy. Shrug it off. Yo, what's up, Trequil? How you doing? You want to race me for the one? Okay, we'll do the one relic challenge. Just so I can give you the motivation to actually complete it. How about that? The Uno Tile is also a way we can get a lot of block as well. You know, this, this, you need to have both things. Oh. Yo, Twitch Prime, thank you. 15 months, Draco. Damn, now you're officially the longest one now. Welcome back, buddy. I should have maybe milked me in the bone there. So Sentinel gives us more energy to keep things going, right? I feel like I don't mind this at all. Is the deck getting too fat, though? The fatter the deck gets, the more consistent. And it's like, we gotta, at some point, we gotta say to ourselves, listen, the Sentinel's not helping you out. But I need to do all these elites because I need to... Uh, basically what what happened here is 
the deck is it needs a lot of relics to supplement it. Words I've never heard before. Wait, I didn't want to do that. I, I forgot that it doesn't draw first. Whoopsies. Got him. This infinite is too cool. Notice he's crazy as Senpai. Of course. What's up, Audrey? Thank you. Welcome back. Another dual build. How much is too much? Tier one sub six months, man. Thank you. Welcome back. How much is too much? Three is too much. Ah, but I want it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rebel. I'm gonna rebel against the world on police force. The spicy brew and shirt. Was, yeah, thank you, last dollar store. Spicy is a bruise. Which will die pitifully if it doesn't have a way to, like, ornamental fan or something. I think the problem here is that I just added too many cards. We're still okay, though. You gotta embarrass me real quick? Let me see. I ain't embarrassed. Let me explain why. Let me explain why. Because I decided to quit League and focus on um, more important things. Hence why I suck balls at the moment. I'm, I'm very embarrassed. Don't do that again. I don't have oh, I don't have it out yet. Oh, I also got rid of my my okay, so I have another dual wield. I didn't have I don't have dark embrace out yet. There's so much block though, it's ridiculous. Dark embrace is so pivotal, it's insane. There it is. There it is. In the bone, no problem. Dark embrace, there it is. That's it, GG. That's all we needed, baby. One, two, three, four, five, six. If you're, if you're reluctant, uh. That's not the only thing I could play. I just decided to play that recently because I was like, I don't know. Oh, wait. Could this save me? So, I would say Nil Rise could be something that could save me. Pog! Yo, thank you, Chango. Appreciate that. I've been, I've been noticing. Thank you for that tier one. Welcome back. I've been noticing. Let's go. Uh, fire breathing is a way to do infinite one and okay. So this is a deck that we corruption right away, right? Just gotta get rid of his. This is a deck that we corruption right away, right? And just go for infinite as soon as we can. Get rid of his artifacts. Berserk. Oh, that's right. They're stealing double. They're stealing dragon brace. That's right. Those cheeky buggers. That's right.
Exhume. Thank you for doing your lunch, nice. You can do a world back. Now we're that's it, it's GG. It's we're we're fully in control. We're fully in control, baby. I believe I have infinite right now. Yeah, infinite. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Too easy. Man. This is like walking into, you know, high school and realizing it was actually uh, kindergarten. I can't wait for the heart to kick my ass. Although, Neurize is a way to manage it, right? Ain't nothing seated about it, baby. Nothing seated about it. I just I was just willing to make a meme. Time meter? Yeah, time meter's a problem as well. You're right. Can no longer rest. So we get four energy, can no longer rest. Curse key. Astrolab. Astrolab's interesting. Let's get rid of so since we're not really care about defense here. Let's say we do Astrolab, we get rid of Defend, Defend, Strike. What do we think? Like, I don't I don't really think I need a rest, but there are times maybe in some of these fights, especially against Thorny Boys, I'm thinking Thorny Boys in particular, where I might only need to rest in a cheeky moment. But like, again, we can also just go for three energy, Astrolab, bam, 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 see what we get. I think we need energy. Other rewards were... Um, Snekawai and forgot what the other one was. Market pain, both energy relics, but I didn't care for it because my goal was to go infinite, and it was very particular what I wanted to do. Here we have giant head. As a, so, what are the potential problems here? Nemesis is a potential problem. I want to go for as many elites as possible because, again, I'm going to stress, I need as all the relics I can get to mitigate the way this deck actually, the way this deck operates. Oh, more dropkicks, beautiful. Yeah, very early this was a deck that just wanted to go infinite and then I was going to figure out the rest from there. Like, very early on. I want to do a little size here. I want to go infinite right now. I changed my mind. I want to go infinite right now. I really just want to go infinite right now. It's too easy. Some of the problem with these decks is like, so wait, actually, let's see if there's a time meter. Okay, so we gotta manage this deck for time meter. And I think it's totally possible. It's totally possible. So, I, here's the problem. I guess time meter... I guess time meter, I, I have to do a completely different thing, right? We have no rise, we have dual wheels, we have some p decent powers. Let's see if we can find disarms and stuff. Let's see. Hmm. So taking up like a, d a demon form would have been nice for time meter in particular. A part of me wants to take another shrug it off for the time meter. We could do we could do metallicized dual wheel scaling. Yes, we could do that. So we, a headbutt would be useful. But I don't want to only do well metallicized. I'm thinking. Well, we'll skip the shrug it off here. I don't know if I want to go to the shop, because I kind of want to do events, but cause I, I can make the mall bank last longer, or I could just use it now and try to get all these leads out of the way. Aye. What's 
What's up, Goldman? How you doing? Ready to make some gold? Yeah, the air is not working anymore. Damn, that sucks, man. If I can get this leg with funeral paints against the heart, then that's totally bog champ. If I can get this leg with funeral paint against the heart, what the hell? Yes, it is, man. I'm wasting on my no-rise look. Fruit juice. Oh, did they let you drink it right now? They do. Sugar Plus it seems pretty good, though. Mm, I think one Sugar Plus. Or, yeah, I think it's not bad. What's up, Ventus? How you doing? I haven't seen you in a while, buddy. This is the fight I didn't want to deal with. The Thorny Boys. Damn. Oh, technically, I can just keep. I know it's boring, but I can just get metallicized, third needle, get it really high up, and let this kill them. It's boring, but it's something. Because you died of Bruce Art Equals I could check it out. I didn't see it, no. I'll check it out. It was, uh, what? It was... It was Brimstone, but you said don't, you don't think Brimstone was necessary? Dual wheel is about to be from Metallicize here. Let's do it, baby. Alright, cool. And then we can do corruption now. You screw corruption and let metallicize thread needle block and then unfortunately we we're probably considering Oh No. Okay, me and the bone. This also comes at, at the time where I got rid of the region pot. I should do what Metallic says, right? It's lame, but hey. Pretty soon is their best, best relic in the game. This would be a long fight. This is the, the worst fight for this kind of deck. Unless I can do impervious stuff right, right now. To really speed it up. This should, I'll try to speed it up here. No, never mind. Oh, that's fine. <sighs> What's up, Thomas? My opinion is strength against the heart. I think strength is one of the best resources against the heart. Now, so he, he, but here's the problem. Here's the problem. We may have different ideas of what a strength deck is, right? So a strength deck for me is a deck that can scale up in strength. And I'm building my deck the whole damn run to make sure that strength is not the only thing it's doing. So we, with that strength that we're going to have ability to block. And if we don't have ability to block, we hopefully damn sure have an ability to heal and utilize that strength with Reaper. And if you don't have Reaper, because not everybody has Reaper, then you need to have relics that can mitigate 
damage, big damage. I'm thinking like, you know, Incense Burner or, or Tori, right? And if you don't have that, then you you need things like Impervious or you need Disarms. You need to make sure you have Weakens. There's a lot of different things, but a deck that is only focused on strength, it, like I said, it's not, it's not going to work. So, again, it doesn't have to be Limit Break Scaling, so you have 999 Strength, and oh my god, you're a god, because, again, you can't one-shot the guy, so Strength Scaling is something as simple as you do spot weakness, maybe pretty reliably, on one turn, at least twice, or you can do it multiple times, so you have Headbutt and Spot Weakness, a cheeky little Demon Form is all you really need, to be honest, in fact, Demon Form first turn is actually one of the best cards I've ever, ever had against the heart. People seem to like, when they say, I'm on a poison deck, they go all out. Like, I have a poison deck. This is my poison deck. What do you think? I look through it. I'm like, okay, so you have 20 Catalysts. You've got a couple of Deadly Poisons. Uh, oh, Bouncing Flask. Yeah, it, it does have poison in the name. You're right. Poison Step. Yeah, true. And then I'm like, okay. But, uh, okay, so AoE. We'll worry about that later. Um, Any block at all? I, okay, I'm, I'm exaggerating. But basically... You get the point. Okay. This is what we're doing. I took it back. I took it back. It was going to be a meme, and by God, was I going to commit to it, and then I saw Dead Branch. I had a principle. I don't want to take it. I'm actually really enjoying what this deck is doing. And the Beast Child, thanks for the Twitch Prime, buddy. In fact, if you look at all my Ironclad wins, strength has always been an element in some capacity. And I don't want, I don't want to revisit, I want to revisit this one real quickly. Real quickly, I want to revisit this. I think instead of thinking about things in like strength deck or this deck, have it as a whole package. And for the heart, I would say you need to have... To really consider the big turns that he attacks... Then the multi hits, and then the ability to do enough damage, right? And if you consider those things in conjunction, the deck should build itself, at least through logical decisions. Nunchaku is interesting, right? Because Nunchaku gives us a lot of energy, and then with this energy, what do we can do with it? Uh huh. So, but Shockwave is. See, the Shadow is a good with any deck, so the ability to weaken and stuff like that is so important. And weaken is a very powerful debuff, and I prioritize it highly. Shadow is great in every deck. I do want the branch, yeah, I do want the branch, but... Um, I do want... I mean, come on, guys, I have Corruption, Dark, and Brace. Do a wheel... Like, yes, I want the branch. Wait, wait, wait. Mo Someone tell me that Monop is not... A genius. In fact, let's have a resident uh, psychologist come through. Give us an IQ test. Monop 87. You're a goddamn genius. So this allows us to commit to this infinite stuff that we're doing. But then when we're doing the infinite, we're getting six block every single time. This is the best damn th YouTube. Cut off all that last stuff. Coming home, baby. Coming home. Coming home, mom. Do I take the risk to get a curse? Yes. I didn't actually mean it. I didn't mean that. We have removal. It's fine. You use scripture for the because it lets you focus on hitting the heart while... Yeah. Champion spell is good. It's a good relic. Um, I'm sure you've seen a lot of my Ironclad runs, but yeah, just... You'll notice that I prioritize... Oh, okay. 
Wait, in going infinite against this guy is kind of awkward as well. I just realized. That's the first one I take turned on Dead Wrench too. Well, that's hmm, that's something. Is book is looking real good. book is looking real good with the book? Man, you can say that twice. Book is looking real good with the book. Book. But here's the thing, this guy can't give me curse again, right? So the abacus is just mm. I had to a wield. Dude, this Havocus is going to be so good. Wait, I have sh wait, I have Shuriken. I'm scaling up. Wait, do you mean something that's my only dual wield left in the deck? I mean, not my only dual, but my only um. Wait, how did that happen? My only drop kick. Oh my, now what if we get Juggernaut too? Juggernaut would be sick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Not that it's necessary, but. That Abacus. Whew. I'm gonna do all the elites. What's really important that I get right now is, uh, what if I hit dual wield? Ah, fuck. It's important that I hit the... Things like Bag of Prep and Battle Trance, I would say. The parasite, yeah, that that's the thing. That's the thing that I, I added to my deck. Let's go. Deck is actually so like it's so perfect in its in its um Barricade actually has to be amazing. It has to be. Because we have Abacus. Now we go infinite on the turn. Before for the heart, right? 200 damage my max. End turn. Crazy amount. I'm doing it. I think it wants to be playable. Okay, let's do it. Time meter, time meter. This I could go infinite now. Would do abacus, and this doesn't matter because I have barricade and abacus. It's like time meter's not an issue anymore. Nothing's an issue. I'm too powerful. I'm too powerful. My friends, you're not ready. Unfortunately, you're not ready.
It's not very interactive. I get it. It's not interactive. But who doesn't like playing solitaire? So, what I said was one of the only things we need is battle trains to get this whole thing started even quicker. And I think battle trains is the play. Now, of course, it affects my ability to card draw. But all I want to do is play it so I can get the important powers out. And maybe even get the dual wield out. And then, you know, I can exhaust it down the line. Pendiv is interesting. It makes my life easier. It's, it's, uh, we call this... We quantify, we quantify things not in their ability to, you know, kill things faster. Because things are all going to die. It's inevitable. It's... Well, I mean, it is... Killing it faster. It's basically, how much time is, are these things saving me? So this saves me a decent amount of time. I think the thing about the battle trends is, yeah, because it affects your draw, but it's really important, I would say, in the beginning to get everything out. Hit the dual wields, hit the barricade, hit the corruption, stuff like that. I think battle trends seems fine. You think I set up about battle trends? Uh, well, is time a problem? I mean, if we have enough life, maybe time's not that much of a problem. I think time is a time problem against time eater. You think that this would mess us up? This is a slippery slope to now trust him on a, as, as he's the, the one true prophet. He found the abacus. He found the the Mayan date. Now he's saying better trance is unnecessary. Well, I guess we respect it. I would say I trust myself here with better trance. Let me see though, because once we use it, this with corruption it gets out of the deck, and we just wait. Hmm, it could mess me up though. If I find it on turn where. I can simply not play it though. No, this is great. I can simply not play it. It's, it's... I'm so pissed. Cause what way to really hope like bring this in and just be like, listen, I'm doing drop pick infinite. I have block with abacus and ornaments, and nothing you can do about it. But I'm gonna have to set for a key. I might just emulate, honestly. <laughs> the fan would be nuts, yeah. It's one of the things I mentioned when I first got it, but the Abacus was... was even greater than I imagined. This is gonna hurt, but we have me and the bonus stuff, right? Did we do this to ourselves? Is it worth the pain? Is it really worth the pain? Not at all. This fight is... We have Barricade now. We have Barricade is... Bar barricade makes it pretty free. Kind of like one letter opener. Now, I did that because I wanted to make sure that I have... The Vulnerable on them without... You know, because the Vulnerable is about to go to waste. Could abacus go. I can get rid of battle trends, you see? Wait, it's not lethal. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. Oh, they can't do this to me, man. They just can't give me the funeral pain, but also the entrenched. So the entrenched almost seems unnecessary. Funeral pain is like. Uppercut's great for the weekend. It also gets rid of two artifacts, but we're not going to need to weaken what we're doing, right? This deck is not even thinking about that. It's thinking about. I think Funeral Pain makes the most sense, but is it necessary?
All right, this is the, probably one of the bigger tests because I don't have AOE. Ah, oh, that's awkward. Oh, that's awkward. My, my, this, these headphones are broken, guys. I gotta fix these headphones. I'm gonna use this because it's just gonna sit there otherwise. God, I can't hear the sounds. How much blocks do I have? 24, 60, 60, 11, 46, 46 plus 8. It's not, it's not that bad. I don't care. You're way too late. Is it because of the Discord announcement? Is that what's going on? What's going on with MuxiBot? Is that what happens? You're just in time, buddy. They just got kind of underway. You're fine. You're fine. I forgot I have so many bashes in my deck. Damn it. Corruption with the no rise is so cool, man. Damn it. What's up, 21 Waffle? How you doing, man? I have to get more water, guys. Another dual wield, eh. Pummel, eh. Okay, so dual wield could be... Since we were trying to find dual wield on... Well... Like, dual wield is also pretty good for, like, funeral pain and stuff like that. I feel like we just keep the deck small as it is. Yes, this is an advocate's deck. I need to get more water, because the AC actually broke again. So what happened was he... Temporarily, it's working. Tomorrow, he has to replace the fluid. So he ordered parts for condenser fluid. I'm hoping the AC would last longer. It didn't last that long, but okay. Tomorrow he fixes the fluid. Alrighty. Third, dual wield. Nah, right? Like I said, dual wield has a lot of targets. You know, pain targets, uh, the no rise targets. And then, since I'm corrupting my own dual wield, I feel like a third one's. No, keep the deck exactly, maybe even smaller, because it's, it's getting big as it is. So we start the recall, right? So might as well go for like, recall, an elite, and then we have to also upgrade something. So we can upgrade the Funeral Pain to get more value out of it, or upgrade the second dual wield. I think we'll upgrade the Funeral Pain. I should be doing Corruption here. Hey, why not? What's up, Kawaii Hello Kitty? 69. That is such a meme name, and I love it. That fair say was, uh... Hey. Wait a second, wait, wait a second. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Me and the bone?
That was a weird interaction. That was a weird interaction. Evolve no. Evolve helps with like some of the some of the things that might happen to me. It might help with some of the things that might happen, like some of the statuses, but I think it just slows me down ultimately, right? Yeah, this deck's amazing. Upgrade if you don't pay now. And then recall. This guy's a chump for this deck. I, I feel bad. I feel bad for this man. Uh, the boost not important because we have the uh, shuriken and the um, drop is already upgraded. Mm-hmm. That's useless, but the fruit juice is nice. More burning packs? No, we were good. That's right, so a time meter. So time meter, I gotta set this up. Um I guess I would I'll use it now, why not? Time meter, I gotta set this up. Um oh we got wow, we got the barricade right away. We got the bash and dual wield right away. What is it even more important to do dual wield twice? No, this is fine. I can do flame bear, it's fine. Decent block, I'll get rid of it with corruption. I hi. Trying to wield that? No, I already saw both two wheels, right? Done. GG. That was my bad because I meant to do dual wield on the other thing. That was my bad. You get it? I gave you actually get it early edition. Right, GG. Every attack does six block. That's crazy. That's unfortunate. Okay, the battle trend sucks right there. I agree. Nothing can go wrong. One problem that sucks is that I want to just. 
actually have the dropkick doing its thing. Only its thing. God damn it. Something might go wrong. Because if I'm not if I'm not going infinite with my like the abacus thing that's going on here, then I'm not getting the block, right? But it should be a lot of damage right now. Alright, hard guy out of the way. Everybody else is a chump. Wanna get this out of my deck. It's funny because, you know, since the beginning of Act 1 I, I committed to doing this. I was like, I, I'm gonna do this. Obviously, this is really silly, and you know, it wouldn't. This wouldn't have come to be if I didn't do that. I could always do um, do a wield on the final pain. Awesome, dude. Wait, I need to take damage for me and the bone, and it's whatever. I, like, taking damage for me and the bone would have been nice. 2,450. Hey, this should be a 3k game. I'm gonna assume 3.2k. Huh, another dual wield obviously is not bad. I mean, upgrading that. Burning pack, more card draw. Card draw is really important for everything. Impervious, make sure we have enough block to like... The amount of block that Impervious gives is quite good. As a head start. Shockwave for longer debuff doesn't seem that important. I would say either Impervious, dual wield, or bur Burning pack for card draw. I'm leaning towards Impervious here. Two, two more turns for the debuff, like, eh. More powers is quite useful, but I think just making sure you have a nice. Brain effect does help me get everything set up, though, right? With bag of marbles means hey, you don't even gotta play bash anymore. Just <laughs> damn, these are some good cards, dude. What? Impervious and final pen number two. Gambler's Brew is quite useful. 
just in, just to, just in case things get hairy. You know, like I know this stuff is kind of tempting, but gamblers might be the safe play. Oh, we have headbutt. Headbutt's great. Headbutt is great. I didn't see the headbutt. Headbutt is very good. It can bring dual wield back prematurely, and then we can utilize f f dual wield potentially that fetal pain just to make the deck even more broken. Like this has everything I want. This got a little bit of this, a little bit of headbutt, if you don't paint. Okay, how much gold do we have? The thing about Fiona Paint is that like I'm getting infinite block with the Abacus. It's not really that necessary. We can get rid of Parasite. You can just get rid of Parasite and just call it call it there. It's my fault for getting Parasite. I guess I could get rid of Parasite. And we won't get any of the other stuff. I can't, honestly, I don't care about Parasite. I can get rid of it pretty easily. And I don't, I want, I'd want. i rather have like a second Fetal Pin. We also bring the Parasite to the... To the, the heart with us, you know? He's, he's like our little son. Marbles gets rid of the artifacts on the... Uh, so Marble gets rid of the artifacts on the Elite, which is useful because the Elite could be... The problem with the Elite is making sure that I actually get them vulnerable. You can get rid of Parasite by getting rid of bro. I think Gimbal's would just to be safe, right? I think Headbutt's actually very useful. Headbutt can recur all the things we need to recur. It operates really well with Havoc as well. And all through Dark Embrace. I, I really like that, but. And I can't do Gambler's Brew and Fatal Pain, but I can do Gambler's Brew and Impervious. And that might be the play. Pierce, I don't really care about, but Impervious number two plus Gambler's Brew is like, maybe that's it. GG. Or we can go, hey, let's bag of marbles right away so that we can get rid of the artifacts. It's not that I'm worried about dying, it's like. I think it's just useful to have just in case you didn't find what you need to find. You have Impervious is a decent amount of block. Just give you time to set up. It's my, it's my opinion. Man, it's getting hot again. Oof. I guess if we only get one good run, this is the run, I guess. This is it. So the guy on the right is going to be bashed. And that's, that's about all I could ask for, huh? Rage is interesting because if I play Rage with all the drop pick stuff, it's a decent amount of block, right? Hmm. It's just gonna clog me up though. I think I want to gamble through this whole thing, right? Do we want to keep dual wield because dual wield can drop, find drop kick? I think I want to do that. It's going to hurt, but we have me in the bone, right? It's okay because we can take damage. Going against the heart, we're going to be fine. We just need to get set up. We need to next. Yeah, we just gotta try the first couple turns against the heart, and then we're fine. I kind of want to bring gold back, but maybe it's a little risky. Evolve? Ah, uh, no, thank you. Okay, and a lot of good stuff here. Jeez. I wanna find corruption here. Got it.
Maybe we get lucky here. I want to make sure that I find... It's fine. Alright, so we now just get me and the bone and we're good. Sentinel was free. Mega prep. Wow. Okay, I said as a meme and off the cuff, Dragonite would be interesting with Abacus just to add more damage, but it's not necessary. Sentinel is quite good because it's upgraded, right? And then the energy helps me have maybe a little bit longer turns to um, find what we need to find. It might just be a skip here, though. Although Sentinel looks kind of juicy. The Dragonite looks <laughs> obviously it's just a meme, but it's, damage is not what we need. Alright, let's go. Corruption right away. Corruption right away. Because we don't we don't care about getting rid of our skills because Abacus gives us the block we need, right? The only problem with the corruption now is that it makes this arm I mean dual wield a little bit worse. But again, we don't care because we have no rise first off, and then we also have Abacus. My my headphones are all messed up right now. Let's begin now. Sentinel or Impervious? Like, so, so, we could also get Brink break, back. Break um, do Sentinel have longer turn, or I could bring back Offering just to get everything out right now. Go for, start doing the infinite, right? Offering helps me go. Just get the dual wheel stuff going right now and start doing the Abacus stuff. I think I like offering better. Yes. Yes. He 
It's gonna be, I gotta get rid of these. I gotta get rid of the, the wound. The burn, actually. Let's get rid of the burn. Broken. Get the pogs ready. I just want to get a little bit, of, get, a little bit get a little bit of block. Just you know, a little cushion. Apicus, I love you. The first time I've ever used Apicus. Oof. It's finally realized. Now just get a little bit more cushion, then we're gonna enter in here. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe it's something that had to do with the breaker. Question for the pushing. That's cool. We got rid of the um, artifacts. I'm actually a little unlucky because I'm not drawing. <laughs> Fuck, I gotta get rid of these damn things. How do I get rid of these things? Whoopsies. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. We win. boys that was a dropkick infinite deck from the beginning we, d we decided listen i'm gonna take yeah you can see what the cards i took here i took dropkick i was like eh, it's kind of awkward we get the you know fine bash and then i took dual wield right after and then havoc so i could get rid of cards for the dropkick thing and then right and then we upgraded this got some removal whatever then we got dro burning packs because we committed to this dropkick thing and then another dual wield because we committed again and then we found corruption and from there it was just like oh full-blown infinite kit I wouldn't have done it without the Abacus, I don't think. Maybe we could have. I don't know. We had a lot of tools. What's the score here? Three thousand two hundred fifty. I said I commit three point two k. Is what I said. It's in. It's in the clip. All right. Mark it. I um. We could have got a couple more. Like a couple more perfects. Not bad though. I'm surprised I got a combo. I didn't expect me to get that one. 